Thousands of protesters are gathering in Washington, D.C. at this hour for the March for Gaza rally, marking 100 days since the Israel-Hamas war began. The rally is organized by the American Muslim Task Force for Palestine and by other groups who are calling for a ceasefire in Gaza and the halting of U.S. aid to Israel. Joining me now is NBC News Channel correspondent Bree Jackson, who is live for us from Freedom Plaza in Washington, D.C. Bree, that's a lot of people. Uh, tell us what's going on. I think there's supposed to be some speakers as well today. Yeah, absolutely. Good afternoon, Katie. So crowds are really starting to gather here. We've been out here for the past hour and just seeing the crowd continue to grow. We're told a couple of thousand people, up to 25,000 people are what uh, the organizers here are expecting. Uh, and people are coming from all across the country. You've talked from people, uh, to people from Michigan, uh, from New York and other places, and they say that their message is clear. They want to tell the Biden administration to stop funding uh, and supporting Israel when it comes to this conflict. Conflict, and they're also calling for a ceasefire. Now, speakers are expected to take the stage around 1 p.m. Eastern time. Some of the speakers that are going to be on the stage are people who have lost loved ones uh, in this war. We spoke with a couple of people uh, already, and these are just really emotional stories that they're telling. One man that I spoke with says that he's lost nearly 100 family members in the Gaza Strip during this conflict, and he gave an emotional plea just asking the Biden administration a Biden administration to take action and calling for that ceasefire. Now, people I spoke with also say they want to put a spotlight on what's happening, not just in Gaza, but in other parts. In particular, they're saying there in the West Bank, they want to uh, highlight some of the actions that, that they are uh, saying that Israel is taking. And another thing to note is they're trying to get this message out any way they can, not just here on the stage, but they're also having some TikTok influencers come out uh, to share share the message there on social media. So they say they want to get out their message demanding a ceasefire as we near the 100-day mark uh, of this war. And also to note uh, that this is also part of an honor, organizers say it's an honor of the Martin Luther King holiday that's coming up, uh, that they want to stand up and speak about injustices. Katie. NBC News Channel, D.C. correspondent Bree Jackson, it's always good to see you. Thank you so much.